Good evening, folks. It's Diamond with the Oppenheimer Ranch Project, bringing you a Grand Solar Minimum update Friday, July 20th at 10.53 p.m. Mountain Time, 2018. You're witnessing Mount Agung erupting just two hours ago. A significant plume. We're monitoring it. It looks like a small perturbation here, but there is an after effect, and I haven't had time to check on it, but this is an ongoing event as Agung is setting up to erupt in epic fashion in the near future. And we're predicting this based on the fact that you are now living in the new cosmic ray maximum. This is a modern maximum. We have just exceeded the level this month in July globally, and we are in uncharted territory until we reach solar minimum. So for at least a year, a year and a half, we're going to see epic weather events globally due to the cosmic ray flux happening on the planet. Destructive tornadoes ripped through Marshalltown, Pella, and Boudouron, leaving 17 people injured in Iowa. Look at the scale of destruction on this street. 17 people were injured after several unexpected tornadoes swept through central Iowa on July 19, 2018. Their tornadoes were reported in Marshallton, Pella, and Boudron, and several other places near Des Moines. Now, 27 reported tornadoes total are being reported as of this report, devastating towns throughout. Look at that picture from ABC News. You don't want to be in the way of that funnel cloud. Iowa, which we usually averaged seven tornadoes in the month of July, saw 27 twisters rip through the state Thursday night, damaging building, buildings, overturning cars, rupturing gas lines, and scaring the sh out of everyone. ABC News. This won't parse, but there's a twister right there, and there is a bunch of cars in a pile. Look at him. There's a car on a roof. There's a destroyed building. And you can come check out this video because we have really limited bandwidth here. <laughs> Clearly, it's not working. Check out some of the photos here of another twister. Smash cars and trucks. Another twister. Double twister. Boom! Where is it? There it goes. Devastated to see the destruction from today's severe storms and tornadoes, Iowa Governor Kim Reynolds tweeted, praying for all the Iowans impacted for the emergency management crews responding tonight. More severe storms predicted. As we have an amazingly unseasonably active jet stream, as predicted by the Grand Solar Minimum, when you listen to the Pierce Corbin interview, exactly what we're looking at is exactly what we should be seeing. And we're going to be putting that up tomorrow. Record heat to persist in Texas, Oklahoma, but plains in the Midwest and East and parts of the South will keep cool next week. Now, I know you hear the fear mongering, but this is coming out from a weather underground, which is a little better source. A rather remarkable weather pattern for late July will bring in enhanced temperature duopoly of relatively cool to parts of the Midwest and East while record heat continues to bake the Southern Plains. A southward plunge of the jet stream currently bringing a rash of severe thunderstorms. And now this was the northward front tipping that duck boat killing 17 yesterday. It is this active jet stream they're talking about. On Lake Branson, they didn't. Even, they weren't recognizing storms moving down from the north. They usually come up from the south. Jet streams typically remain well outside the subtropics during the summer months due to lack of cold air in Canada. But this weekend, a lobe of the jet stream will dip as far south as the northeastern Gulf of Mexico. This kind of feat usually reserved for the autumn or winter months. <laughs> or maybe the grand solar minimum months. <laughs> or the cosmic ray maximums. Who knows? But they don't report on the truth. They report on the facts, and they don't do their homework. So, they're halfway there. Blistering heat wave across southern plains and lower Mississippi this weekend. Wet weather in the east. They should say cool, but whatever. A scorcher heat wave will continue across the southern tier of the country. Temperatures and heat indices will reach 
or easily surpass double digits. So here's severe weather watches, flash flood warnings, heat warnings, and advisories everywhere. And here you can see tornado watches and warnings throughout Tennessee, Virginia, and the northern tiers of Alabama and Mississippi. Just come to weather.gov, get this map, click on your county, and you'll get your local updates. Deadly heat wave to grip Japan. We reported on this last night into the weeks as amp hill passes to the south. Death, death toll surpasses 200 after record rainfall causes almost 900 landslides. <laughs> Now, right after it ended, we're talking deadly heat wave, and it's expected to continue into next week across Japan as tropical storm Ampel bypasses the region to the south. Look at the flooding there. It's insane. So Ampel's moisture is going to go south with the weekend storms, and the heat is going to be from Seoul across to Tokyo, the entire region. The heat wave has already claimed more than two dozen Lives while more than one ten thousand other people have been hospitalized in heat related illnesses. Ten thousand, according to the Japan Times. Now, AccuWeather estimates the death toll from Japan's heat wave is likely already in the hundreds, despite what officials are saying, and is going to rise because we're talking one hundred five point three in the city of Tajamimi. Widespread temperatures of ninety five will be reported each day. Sweltering humidity will push real field temperatures between 100 and 110 during the midday and afternoons. Whew, that, drink a lot of water. And if you're near an air conditioner, go inside. That's hot. UK weather, driest start to summer on modern record. Look at these levels, each one surpassing the next. And we're drying up there. Talk about a carrot crisis. How about a drinking water crisis? After weeks of hot and sunny weather, it's official. The UK is experiencing its driest start to summer since modern records began, which is not in 61, I assure you. <laughs> but in the UK, that's been around for thousands of years, they started keeping modern records just 60 years ago, which is insane. 50 millimeters of rain fell between the 1st of June and 19th of July, comfortably lower than the previous 58 millimeters. That's 7.2 millimeters less. England has been particularly dry. Crops are going to fail, and people are going to be paying lots of dollars. Take a look. There's barely any water left in there. Have you heard about Sydney? Let's click on these and make sure they work. Oh, there's poop and salad. We'll get to that. Sydney is about to get hit with another extreme cold snap. And this dog already has his blanket up. They say rug up. Let's be real. These last few weeks have been pretty lucky with the weather in Sydney. It's been cold, but we can still get away with the wearing of a sneaky dress and a coat. Even though some pipes froze over, it still has been bearable. But this weekend, prepare yourselves because the cold is coming and it's coming strong. Some parts of Western Sydney already caught the cold with temps as low as minus 5 degrees and sticking around. The bomb has predicted the temps will go below minus one in Richmond on Saturday, minus three on Sunday, and minus one on Monday. Penrith will also have temps at zero. Campbellton is also to get hit with the lows at negative one. And you can expect the frost. If you head into the snow, you're also in luck. Jindabyne will be hit with lows of minus four over the weekend. Parish are expecting negative eight. Stay warm, fan, and rug up. <coughs> <clears throat> That's a boom. Let's check out Australia stressed and healthy vegetation 2018, week 28. This is July 15th. Not looking good for crops. Over 50% are at strongly stressed conditions. The other 25% medium to light. I'm just showing you the data. Mosquitoes carrying West Nile virus found in six locations across Orleans Parish. New Orleans mosquitoes infected with the West Nile virus have been found in six different locations. Infected mosquitoes were caught, caught on North Broad Street, Downman Road, Elijah Fields Avenue, Harrison Avenue, Mirabeau Avenue, and Paris Avenue, according to the Mosquito and Termite Control Board. 
get your bug spray, get your poop cloth. <laughs> McDonald's salads tainted with poop have now infected 163 people in 10 states. If you thought food was inside of this square, <laughs> you're an idiot. And that's a poop boom. 96 people in 26 states not infected with poop, but salmonella. We told you about the raw turkey pet food. Ew. What is foodborne illness may be on the rise? <laughs> it may be. Read the article down below where it says show more. Earthquake swarm near London. <clears throat> we reported on this two weeks ago. It continues today. They, we have charts here. Look at, this is the 18th. July 18th. 0.9, 2.5, 0.4, I know what this is. This is a frack quake. Check out this oil and gas setup. Check out the, the quake swarm. This government is going to lie to you into the, through their teeth until finally someone writes a scientific paper that says, well, maybe they're frack quakes. Now here's an overview from Stephen Hicks showing you the locations of the now 10 events in the Surrey earthquake swarm. Yes, it's true. The Queen Mother even felt one. This is based on two quakes data from the new stations. It seems to be shifting the location of the cluster a few kilometers to the north. Now, to the north is oil and gas. Yes. The CEO of the nearby oil and gas company suggests there is a surface trace of a large fault, and they have nothing to do with it. Heads up. But check out the seismicity in this region. Heading over here... Take a look. There is seismic activity in England, and as we descend into the grand solar minimum, we're looking for a maximum quake of about 5.5 to occur in multiple locations, but nothing bigger. So there's no catastrophic worry. Here we have a quake kicking off in the Kamchatka. This is definitely volcanic in origin, so we're going to be watching this closely. We're waiting for an explosion or a collapse at the caldera Kilauea in the next 12 hours. We have an amazing seismic uptick here near Popocatapetl. So we could be seeing some activity there. And we opened the show with a new eruption from Agum, a plume probably three to 4,000 meters into the air. 5.6 at the North Marianas. We have a 5.2 happening in the region of Krakatau. And a 5.0 in the Solomons. There's a 5.6 here in the center of South America in Argentina at a depth of 600. So this is significant in the fact that it is deep down in the subduction zone here. And there could be a large magnitude quake happening in this region over by the coast in the next 24 hours. So this is a very high magnitude, deep quake, and we're going to be taking special note to that. So if you're in that region, heads up. <coughs> Worldwide Volcano News, Reventador, Volcanic Ash Emissions, Kadaminsk, which is in the Kamchatka, where we just showed you that seismic activity, as well as Popo, where we showed you the seismic uptick, Krakatau, where we sh showed you the seismic uptick, as well as Semaru, Dukono, and on and on. Come check it out for yourself. There is a definite uptick in global events. Current surface ice mass budget over at Greenland is showing historic melting much higher than now. And also that since the first week of June, well above the average baseline here for over seven weeks now. So... This coming in from Fred Hill Corky. The Green Grove Garden on eBay. Respected uh, seller. They're having a seed sale. European black cherry tomatoes, 60 seeds for $239. That's 40% off. Usually you get 20 seeds for that price. You can get free shipping here, and there's also specials. You buy one and you get one at 50% off. I recommend the Lemon Balm, 600 seeds for $239. Buy one, get one at half off. Lemongrass, Stinging Nettle, do it. Cape Gooseberry, 
striped, super tall sunflowers. There's a lot to get for a little bit of money. Lavender, bee balm, rue, pumpkin. Buy one, get one at half off. Cucamelon, chamomile, Mexican mint, wormwood, amaranth. Good food crops here. Goji berry, valerian. That's the sunset sunflower. Lufa seeds, free shipping. Basil, 500 seeds, 239. Buy one, get one half off. Dandelion, 359. Buy one, get one half off. Sage. Love lies, bleeding heart, 500 seeds, edible. We grow this at the farm. $3.99. Buy one, get 50% off. Moneymaker Tomato. Make some money. Buy some seeds. Save your arse. Learn how to grow something. Cost you five bucks and you're started. Thank you, Fred, for continuously sending me awesome links to awesome products that we share on the show. Yes. Grow your own. If you don't know what I'm talking about, check out the link to Abundant Harvest below where you can learn how to grow your, grow your own. These are French breakfast radishes. I know that because I'm a farmer <laughs> and a permaculture gardener. You could know it too if you grow your own. I bet you these don't have any pesticides on them. Be safe.